during your initial scene size up, it's important to use your thermal imaging camera to determine if you in fact do have an electric vehicle battery pack fire. Using the thermal imaging camera, we want to scan the temperature of the battery pack. Remember, you can have a class A vehicle fire without the battery pack being involved, but if the battery pack is involved, you will always have a class A vehicle fire as well. Symptoms to look for when identifying electric vehicle battery pack fire is low lying white smoke coming from underneath the vehicle, hissing and popping noises coming from the vehicle, fire where we would not traditionally expect to see fire on a traditional vehicle, mainly down low, and a pulsating fire effect of high intensity and low intensity fire periods. This is caused by the cells and modules releasing their energy. When preparing to deploy the vest, a traditional handline should be pulled to extinguish the Class A vehicle fire. Place the control unit at a safe distance from the electric vehicle, taking into account both wind direction and slope. Do not, at this point, attach the SCBA cylinder. Place the extinguishing unit at a safe distance from the electric vehicle, preparing it for hose attachment. Next, we'll deploy the operating hose. For ease of assembly, tip the extinguishing unit on its side to attach the supplied hose. Next, tip the operating unit on its side to attach the supplied hoses. With the connecting hoses now attached, place your SCBA bottle on the tray and attach it with the supplied hose. Attach the water supply line to the extinguishing unit and attach the other end of the water supply line to your fire engine charged to 100 PSI. Attach a pike bolt to the best extinguishing unit. This will act as the arm to push the unit underneath the electric vehicle. With the pike pole now attached, position the best extinguishing unit underneath the electric vehicle battery pack. If you're unsure where the electric vehicle battery pack is located on a particular vehicle, consult the manufacturer's safety data sheet. Finally, Open your SCBA cylinder, charge the system until you have 600 PSI showing on your operating side. At this time, you're ready to deploy the best extinguishing unit. To do so, simply turn the knob from non-deploy to deploy. You've now deployed the best extinguishing unit. For a brief period of just seconds, you may notice an increase in fire activity around the vehicle. Keep a safe distance. The momentary fire increase is due to the replacement of the gases with inside the pack with the cooling water from the best unit, flowing at eight gallons a minute at 100 PSI. After 10 to 60 minutes, you will notice a reduction in the temperature of the battery pack to a level that will not allow for thermal runaway and the elimination of fire. Thank you for listening. This has been an operational overview of the battery extinguishing system technology from Rosenbauer.